So this is the concluding part of the audio recording that got leaked. We have the one. If you look at the thumbnail of previous video, you will find one. We have two. We have three. We have um, four. And this is the fifth part of it. It is very important that you pay attention to all of this video from the beginning of it. If you have not watched it, please go and watch. Um, the first one, there are a lot of views. The second one, less views. That is because people are not looking at the thumbnail. The number is written there. Part 1, 2, 3, 4. And this, like I said, is the fifth one. You are about to hear some extraordinary things in this one. What what did to this young lady who used to be friends with Mobad and also was friend how she set up this young girl how they beat this young girl with one influencer who you know they say they are influencing these people have the same spirit inside of them all of them together all of these girls together they beat her and they Threatened to put out pictures of her body, which she said she had protected herself somehow. While they were beating and asking questions, trying to rope her, she started repeating some of their um, secrets, such as, oh, you told me you had something to do with Davido. You told me you slept with that person. You told me. So she started saying things that will further um, keep her somehow secured. Now... Hmm. This this is serious. This is serious. I'm sure you must have heard the part of uh, how she had gone to several native doctor juju priest to get some charms. How she has been discovered, and according to this lady, um, Naira Mali has a lot of evidence. Naira Mali has recorded a lot of things, but being that Naira Mali also has his own demons that he's dealing with. Nairamali chose not to in, in, you know, he chose not to bring himself on social media in a way to absolve himself of any wrongdoing, which is uh, and to some people is not right because it's affecting his record label. But to an extent, somehow, somehow, um, I think Nairamali feels that he's guilty of some little little things here and there, which could have come out of uh, Mobad's uh, refusal to remain. In that record label because Mobad felt he, he would be making more money by himself. So he wasn't willing. Emile got the limelight influence from Naira Mali. He wanted to jump out before the end of the two-year contract. He wanted to jump out like, I think people know me now. Let me go and make my own. This didn't go down well with Naira Mali. And um, there are certain activities of Mobad too with the same Sam Larry that has to do with certain things. Um, it's a serious issue. I, I think it's best you hear many of these things and what eventually led to the demise of mobile do not forget to like and share tap on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell this is the end of war the man would have not and pursued me away because he knows that obviously and you think Nara is that stupid to come and now toast me or have anything to do with me it is not out of respect if i was a bad person do you think the man would have not cut me off and pursued me away because he knows that obviously I would have speeched or something. I told Nera recently that we need to talk about this thing. We need to, like, I still hate the fact that if, sometimes if I post, um, people will still comment on my, on my video and say, you are the one that released the voice note, you are the one that released the voice note. Okay, ma, first of all, that voice note, yes, I did not release it personally, but I was one where I was with the voice note for almost a year plus. Voice note stands out. Timbaku, Ashana Lopami, Voice no stun son here. It won't release it. Cause she release it. Sleeping with Naira, I'm, I'm a druggy for Naira. I, I still hate the fact that if, sometimes if I post, um, people will still comment on my, on my thing and say, you are the one that released the voice note, you are the one that released the voice note. Okay, ma, first of all, that voice note, yes. I did not release it personally, but I was one where I was with the voice note for almost a year plus. I was one with the voice note. Who me recorded that voice note on her own? to make sure that she tells people that Mubad was mad and all of that, to have evidence about him being, like, not being okay. He, post, he also posted about Naira Mali, and 
You do not try to clear that one and tell people that, oh, he's not okay. When he came to your turn, you want to make it look like he's mad, he's not okay. Now you people are contradicting yourselves, making it look like you people don't even know what you're saying. You're saying this one from here, another person is saying this one from there. And it's very, very funny the way they all try to make everything look like Wumi is the saint. Wumi is the instigator. She is the wicked person. She's the bad person. Like growing up, your mentality, your sense, and you're not even married to them and you're doing all of this. I talked to her then. This girl told me to enemy. This is the part of the thing that I told her that made her tell me to enemy. TikTok, eh, lady dada. It told you background, eh? Oh, near a shiner, eh? Like a man in Kongoni Joe. Ah, a shiner. But when you bash it, don't you? Could you, Modada? Could they, 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 uh, you believe when I told you that I've been keeping that video since this, like, since when I've gotten the video. I've gotten the video for over a year plus, and I didn't do anything to, I didn't do anything with the video because it was none of my concern. You understand? But the moment she came out and said what they finally killed him and directed everything to Nairamali, that was when she, like, like, I had to lose all, all, the whatever it is, all the love or whatever, I, I would not even love her anymore, but I had to lose everything that was called loyalty in me. I was not the one that posted it by myself, but I sent it to the people that posted it. Mm. Oh, why would that make sense? Because you know long be now. Ma, so that you understand. So a friend of hers, because when she noticed that I was staying away from her, when she noticed that I was staying away from her, she like she had to call one of her other of her friend. That one she don't already offend that one before, but the offense offense never to reach say make she like never to reach because the woman is somebody like when she has a problem, she will look for one of her friend that she has not really fought with much. She will not come and tell that one. So that that one will come and stand in by her, you understand? Because she always needs friends around. She likes friends. Like, she likes people being with her when she's in problems, you understand? So, at that point, me, I don't want to follow her. I, like, I, I was already seeing what she was doing. So I started staying away from her. So those her friends, Bukola, those ones were already telling me all the bad things she has been doing in Korodu and their school. Because me, I don't, like, I know I don't know her from anywhere, so... I was, I was surprised to be hearing all the things that have been happening. So me, I wanted to just like, so me, I wanted, to, like, although I was already, she knows that I was already giving her distance. Yeah, so she didn't call me. That day was her birthday on the April 13th. You can check, you can check, like, you can check for her birthday. Her birthday is April 13th. Is it April 29 or April 30th or 29th? But her birthday, okay, no, it's not April 30th, that's her birthday. So, that April 30, Muba did not wish her happy birthday. Muba did not call her. Muba did not message her. Muba did not do anything. She was crazy that day. She was running mad. She felt bad. You understand? If it should be, she should come and tell, like, it should be, if it's short for her, let her come and say, uh, post what the birthday message Muba sent to her. April 30, 2022. Muba did not even wish her happy birthday. Muba did not even, at that point, Muba said he wasn't doing a game. We started running mad. We did not pretend that see that was why in the voice note that Mubad is very smart. Mubad said, uh, like you're pretending like you are like you are in the hospital, like over over from saying OC Kabi. If you, you will listen to it from the voice note, like that um voice note that Mubad said, if anything happens to me, he's there. He said it that. Just this is why you're you pretending like you're sick. Just because the boy did not wish her people, they did not care about her birthday. She now pretended that she was sick. She went to the hospital. She now, even the Cynthia, that, because her that, friend name is Cynthia too. That one now came to our house. Now started telling us uh, how 
um, she pretended because me, I couldn't go to the hospital to visit her because I was avoiding her. Bukola could not go, everybody was avoiding her. She, she jammed all of our heads together. We now found out, we now decided that okay, we're not well, it's for, in fact, enough of me, enough of her problems. I'm tired. I decided to stay on my own. Bukola decided to stay on their own. So she posted, and normally, woman is not somebody to post. So the moment she posted, thank God I spent my birthday in the hospital this year. I just looked at it, I smiled. I understood what she was trying to do. She was trying to gain attention from we that decided not to wish her, like, I wished her, but I didn't, I just wished her happy birthday. I just wished happy birthday. I didn't even really, you understand? So this stuff now, she knows that we don't want to, you understand? So I messaged her like I said, oh, sorry, you're sick. Sorry, get well soon. I didn't even care to say I want to see her or anything. That was what I told her. So get well soon. I wish her a oh, happy birthday. I just wish happy birthday. Normally, my best friend, I'm always writing. Some, somebody that I'm always posting every day, writing uh, uh, love messages for. I'm not I'm, I'm not posted as she just wrote happy birthday here. You understand? I just wanted her to know that, oh, I'm not your enemy. But at the same time, I don't want to have anything to do with you. It was just that. It was just that simple. You understand? So... When Mubad now, when, okay, Mubad now, the next morning, I think the next, I think the 29 was her birthday. So then this is the next morning, the day after her birthday, because they already left the hospital. So when they were coming out now, she was now, she was now like, she now started recording when Mubad started telling her, if anything happens to me, it's you, Kiniko, just because she wants to use it. I come and tell Nigeria that Mubad is mad. She doesn't know that this, this voice note will now even implicate her the more. She wants to come and tell Nigerians that Mubad is mad. But when he said he's not a man, you couldn't come and tell Nigerians that, that something is wrong with him, right? You couldn't come and tell people. Now you want to defend yourself with a voice note. You recorded it yourself. So I think she recorded it with that Cynthia's phone. You see that there's a plaster on her hand. She lies. Now she destroyed herself. Now she carried herself to the hospital and made them, made them admit them. Now she destroyed herself. Oh, she was not sick. The Cynthia confirmed me that she was not sick. There was nothing wrong with her. Just because she wanted to gain attention of Mubai, just because she, you know, if Mubai see that she's in the hospital, he go care now. This boy is not okay. Leave him. Let him sort himself out. Let him be fine first. You are pretending like you are in the hospital. You want to die. So at the end of the day, Shah, that Cynthia Shah beg, beg, beg until Mubai now came to meet them. So. The shot entered, I think they were shot going. This was when the, the, um, the Cynthia was not trying to. I'll send you another voice note. I didn't send out that voice note because um, the Cynthia, it was Mobad explaining to Cynthia how that's the other girl. That The other girl's name is Cynthia, not Wumi herself, for the sucker. Her friend's name is Cynthia. So Mobad explaining to Cynthia that, um, okay, let me send you the voice note, ma. What did the editor Freddy Louis? She may put um manager and buy tell you what silly, which is already a shey. So shey, obviously, oh, some won't cut on shelly phone. Oh, I feel about the shey. Kaka Kuma just say, I fish our dalu fish a phone. A lot of manipulation here and there. Well, mm, there is a lot of mystery. A lot of mystery. There are unanswered. Uh, questions but from the little that we can gather all through this journey one could come to a conclusion that moba did not make the right decision even when it is glaring i know there are times that we get compelled to take certain actions and afterwards let's say we are lucky to have left, to have escaped such activity or engaging with certain people. If we left unscattered, if we left without any injury, without anything happening to us, if we are to look back at that that we did, many of us will, will, will regret, many of us will slap ourselves like, well, how stupid could I have been? Have you ever experienced such before? where you engaged in certain activities and you came back in regret hitting yourself like how stupid was i unfortunately mobad cannot come back to tell himself how foolish was i 
before it became this complex, I should have escaped. I should have put an end. Hmm. According to this lady, there are a lot of diabolic activities that we were engaged in. A lot. A lot of it. It is not all juju that is efficient or has any efficacy or works. There are some juju that carries no power. But you have paid. And you have administered it. It's not all juju that works. No, not all. There is also your inner self, that spirit of protection or caution that we all have inside of us that reflects in our dreams. So to a, to a certain extent, Mubad was aware of certain atrocities of war, but he refused to cut off. He knew that there is more to what the eyes can see. He knew, he heard. You cannot have run crazy as a result of the battering of the NDLEA. And after going through all of this, you were told to split from Wumo and you still continued. I mean, if family and friends know that you have split from this girl, and she's not acting and forming like she's sick. So as to get your attention. Are you now return back? Hmm. It's a, it's a serious issue. It's a serious issue. It's so complex. But we that we are alive, I'm sure we can learn one or two things from this. Maybe you're also in the same circle right now as I speak. You don't know why you are with this person. That is not adding value. But pain, sorrow, and this person is dragging you slowly to that tip of demise. <clears throat> it's time for you to take that bold step of putting an end, total end, to whatever it is that is between you. There are times that people want to see to the end of it. And for Mobad, the end of it is to have a child with Wuwa and then send Wuwa outside of Nigeria. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Was there a covenant between both of them? What exactly is this thing? It's a crazy, crazy, crazy situation. Ah! Hmm. Well, there is still another audio from what our guest is saying. Another incriminating audio that will be sent. And people are also talking about the safety of this young lady that is putting out all of this. Um, her safety is important, but we have been assured that she is fine and everything is okay. She says she's no longer afraid and that she's doing this because she knows that um, it is time. It is time for her to... to uh it's time for her to do the needful mm. it's time for her to do the needful she knows that if she's to keep her mouth shut um for too long and i hope that naira mali of course is also going through his own trials and tribulation money is no forthcoming although most of uh Mood bad's music has generated revenue for him too he tried to get money doing his own thing, but because Shepeteri had blacklisted him using the blog, and people eventually, they have sort of realized what is happening, but it cost him a lot. It cost him a lot. Even though he came up with the Tani Baba baby music, people, people lambasted him. It would be difficult for him to get himself clean. He needs to do the needful. He probably must have done some exercises, spiritual exercises, but that's not enough. That is not enough. 
he also needs to consider some of his own actions in the past and in the present. Terrible actions, things that he had done. Hmm. Well, they say many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers them from it. But if you are not a righteous person, who would deliver you from your wickedness? More, who would deliver you from your wickedness? Nobody. Nobody. None at all.